I really knew pretty early on that, you know, in going to medical school that I wanted to use my career for mission. Um, it, it only became clear later that it was going to be overseas mission. And that really came as I learned more about just the need overseas. For example, in, in Ethiopia, um, there's about one doctor for every 40,000 uh, residents of Ethiopia. So if you extrapolate that to Austin, that would mean a city the size of Austin having about 20 doctors. Really an unbelievable need there. Life in Africa is, is hard, it's, it's difficult. Um, the first time that we ever went to Africa, we went on a short-term trip and I mean the thing that, that really stuck out about that trip was just the difficulty of it. I mean we were sleeping on the ground, we were eating strange things we'd never eaten before like goat. We both got sick at some point during it and I can remember leaving there looking at each other as we were flying out and saying um, I don't think we're ever coming back here again. And we just really missed the comforts of America, so we were really excited to get on that plane and come back to the USA. And it was about three weeks later when we were home, sitting in church at FBFC, and a video was actually played about our trip. And both of us, after the service, just talked about how we felt a really strong call in our hearts that we had to go back there um, because we saw these friends that we had made and God had knit these relationships together in Jesus Christ. And we knew that he was calling us to go back at that moment. And I think that our story is a great picture of God's call on our lives. So after that Sunday, we um, started thinking about, okay, well, we really do need to go back to Sudan. We need to go on an, another trip. And so we put together a team of people and we went back to Sudan. I think the big difference of the second trip was the relationships that uh, had been formed on that first trip, the, those were beginning to flourish and, and we uh, were happy to see our friends. And I think also to start going to Sudan, we saw a huge need of just orphaned children and we had always had a heart for adoption and so God had begun opening the doors for us to do that earlier than we had planned really. Um, and He led us to Ethiopia that way because that was the only open country at the time. That's when we adopted our first child, and he's our son, Nate. Um, and at the time we adopted him, he was eight months old, and we were able to go to Ethiopia for two weeks when we picked him up. And that's really where God um, began to draw our hearts towards mission work in Ethiopia. We just fell in love with the people there and the culture and really began to see what our lives could look like living there long term. We had an opportunity to visit a hospital when we were there in Ethiopia, and uh, it's a mission hospital. It, it has a very unique purpose in that it seeks to teach and train indigenous national doctors, uh, actual Ethiopian doctors, who will then go out and serve the Ethiopians. And when I heard that, it just really resonated with me, and I just said, wow, this is great. I, I want to be a part of this. We, we can do this. And, uh, teaching and training is something I'm passionate about and it's a way to really uh, multiply our efforts throughout the community. God's really given me a passion for orphan care and while Jeremy's going to be working in the hospital, I'm going to be able to work with some orphans in Ethiopia. There's a staggering number of orphans, it's five million that we know of and the reason is because their families are just too poor they can't afford to take care of them. So I'll be working in a children's home and the goal of the home is to restore the families back together and to teach the parents on how to earn a living and take care of their children. Really the gospel is the motivation for all of this. I mean, we have been recipients of just the incredible grace of God in Christ. And when we see that uh, next to this huge need, it's impossible to do nothing. You know, we're not superhuman or anything. We are just normal people and we've been changed by the gospel. Yeah, our, one of our favorite verses is Isaiah 30, 21. Um, in it it says, your ears will hear a word behind you. This is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right or to the left. And the reason that verse has meant a lot to us is because we don't know uh, what's coming, but it's exciting and we're just taking it one step at a time and trusting that God will continue to show us the way as, as we go on this mission.